Anybody home? Hey, 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 what are you doing here? I just thought I'd stop by and say hello. Oh, what a nice surprise. Uh -huh. I don't think you've ever seen my lab before. Uh, no, I know, it's long overdue. <laughs> so, what you doing? Better not be building a robot girlfriend. <laughs> no, although Howard was making some real strides in that area until he met Bernadette. What, you're kidding? Nope, now the Lisa Tronic 3000 just sits in a box waiting for the phone to ring. <laughs> Going on in oh, here. No, 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 don't look in there. What, is it a secret? No, it's a nitrogen laser. It'll cook your eyeball like a soft boiled egg. Oh, you might want to put a sign on it. <laughs> a sign right there. Ah, uh, danger, sure. sure. <laughs> so, what's, what's that? Uh, that is an integrated ion trap and time of flight mass spectrometer. Wow, hi, techy techy. <laughs> What's this little box? That is a pencil sharpener. <laughs> oh, low, techie techie. So what are you working on right now? Oh, it's actually pretty neat. Yeah? yeah. It's a front-projected holographic display combined with laser-based finger tracking. Here, I'll show you. Let's put this pencil over here. Sharp, thanks to the machine we saw earlier. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> then a laser will map the reflective surface and voila. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> you know, there's a foundational idea in string theory that the whole universe may be a hologram. What do you mean? Oh. Well, the holographic principle suggests that what we all experience every day in three dimensions may really just be information on a surface located at the farthest reaches of our cosmos. So it's possible that our lives are really just acting out a painting on the largest canvas in the universe. Hmm. Sometimes I forget how smart you are. <laughs> you should visit more often. <laughs> what are you doing? Take off your clothes. What? Here now? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Oh, no. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. I've never fooled around in the lab before. Really? Never? Nope. Well, I did have a shot with the Lisa Tronic, but the extension cord wasn't long enough. Uh. <laughs>